Hi guys, I just received the package today and decided to do an unboxing and first impressions video of this Wi-Fi 6 dual band router. This is the Xiaomi router AX3000 which is an upgrade over the older AX1800 which comes with the same design. Let me quickly run the specs here for this device but before we start please consider subscribing to this channel, your support means a lot to me. So it comes in this white box with the image of the product on the front and some specs written all over typical for any Xiaomi product. You are getting an Ethernet cable which you might use to set up the device. However, you can do that easily without needing that, which I will show later. Then you get the router itself in this bag, your casual documentations and the power brick. That's all in the package. The router is quite light in weight and is completely made of plastic. If you own the AX1800, it is exactly the same. There are 4 cooling vents on it to keep the device cool and transmit signal better. The design is quite interesting and definitely looks cool and fresh. Coming to the ports, first we have the mesh button which can be used to pair other Xiaomi mesh routers to create better Wi-Fi range followed by 3 gigabit LAN ports and 1 gigabit WAN port. At the bottom, we do have the power inlet and a reset hole. The bottom of the device contains a nice rubber pad so that it does not move on top of the table. Nice addition. There are two LEDs on the front, the bottom one for the power and the top for indicating internet access. It turns amber when internet is not active and white when the internet gets ready. Neat and clean. So let me quickly show how to set this device up through the app. First download the MI Wi-Fi app from the Play Store or App Store then connect the Wi-Fi of the device name. Here it looks like this, the network is open and need no password to set it up. On opening the app, you need to select set up new router, it will connect to the internet. Depending on your network, you might need to change some settings to get connected to the internet. Like if you have a static IP provided by your ISP, you need to put those settings in by going to the more options page and set it right. Once done, click next and put your desired Wi-Fi name and password for the Wi-Fi and admin web page. Ok, so your router is successfully set up and your network will get disconnected. Now you need to reconnect to your network using the password which you just set up. Your network is now ready to for use. You can set it up and forget it for the most part, however, if you need some advanced controls, you need to make an MI account and sign in with it. You would see your router there and can control many advanced features from there even remotely. If you are interested in it, please let me know in the comments, I would definitely show that in details on my final review video. Here are some of the quick speed tests on some different circumstances. This test is done with the router far away with two walls in between and I am on 5 GHz network using the Wi-Fi AC connection. My internet bandwidth is 60 Mbps and this is the speed I am getting. This test is done with the router and my laptop on the same room with no walls in between and I am on the 5 GHz network using the Wi-Fi AX connection. As you can see, the connection speed is rated at 1200 Mbps 
my internet bandwidth is 60 mbps and this is the speed i am getting There are some pros and cons which I initially found upon using it. The pros are looks pretty cool and will be a treat to your eyes if you want a clean setup and would love something different than the traditional router looks. It supports the latest Wi-Fi 6 standard with combined speeds of 3000 megabits per second. It supports 160 megahertz channel for Wi-Fi signals in 5 gigahertz band, decent 256 MB RAM and a 1 GHz CPU. It supports two stream multi input and multi output and mesh routing capability so even if you are upgrading your router in the future you can use it as a range extender or perhaps you could connect it to your existing mesh system now and extend the range that way in my brief usage i did not find any major con for this little device however one thing to note is that it definitely has far lesser range than most traditional routers this is due to the inbuilt antennas and lack of external ones what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. This is Avik signing off. Have a good day.